Hello students, welcome to AKS IAS. In this lecture, we will try to answer some of the frequently asked questions by beginners or aspirants for UPSC preparation or the choice of mains optional subject. Question number one, how many optional subjects are there in the UPSC mains examination? In the UPSC civil services mains examination, the candidate needs to choose one optional subject from a list of 48 subjects mentioned in UPSC notification. Next question, how to choose optional subject for the UPSC examination? We have dealt elaborately on this question in the previous lectures of us. You can please check the playlist called UPSC optional in our YouTube channel. So here we'll tell briefly what should be the parameters of choosing an optional subject. The candidate should choose the optional subject based on various parameters like the syllabus of the optional subject notified by UPSC, the study material, okay, the coaching accessibility, the scoring pattern and the popularity of the subject. Apart from the above, which we have discussed just a while ago, it is the interest of the candidate in the subject which matters the most for him to secure a good ranking and a good marks in the examination. The next question is, which optional subject is the best for UPSC preparation? To put it bluntly, there is no best optional as such in UPSC. All we can try to make is, a, is to choose a right optional which is suitable for our requirement. Okay, so in the UPSC civil services examination, there are certain optionals which are most popular and considered as the best among aspirants due to their popularity, availability of study material, the coaching availability, and the high scoring pattern. In this context, what we can broadly tell is some of the popular optional subjects like public administration, philosophy, sociology, anthropology, geography, history, political science are considered some of the most taken up optional subjects. Another question which most of the aspirants ask is, which is the easiest optional subject for the UPSC? Okay, again, I would like to tell that there is no easiest optional subject. Every optional subject going by the UPSC syllabus has its own merits and demerits. Here, as a rational candidate preparing for UPSC, all we can do is to choose which is the most suitable optional for ourselves. Okay, however, there is this popular perception that there are certain optional subjects which are considered as easiest among the preparing aspirants due to the simplicity of the subject, short syllabus, and the ease of understanding. In this context, most optional subjects like philosophy, anthropology, sociology, okay, political science, geography, history are considered as relatively, relatively doable, relatively easier optional subjects okay the next question is what are the optional subjects for the ias or civil services prelims examination okay here please remember that in the year 2011 the upsc has made transformational changes in the civil services examination that is it replaced the optional subject paper with gs paper 2 that is the civil services aptitude test in the IAS prelims exam. So from the year 2011 onwards, there is no optional subject in the prelims examination. Okay. The next question is how to write answers in UPSC mains examination. It is said that every UPSC mains answer is a short essay. As you structure the essay, you need to write the UPSC mains answer in a point format with clarity of thought and brevity of expression with understandable as well as simplistic language. The next question is how to write an essay in UPSC mains examination. First, the need to choose a topic which you are comfortable and have a good command over that particular topic should be your choice of essay in the mains examination. Then you have to do proper brainstorming Okay, and then you have to go for structuring of the essay in a 
very logical and rational sequence. Finally, you have to give a proper introduction and a gripping conclusion to the essay so as to gain better marks in the examination. So what we can put in simply is the most fundamental, you know, and important characteristic of a good essay is the logical sequence. Okay, the, you know, the logical flow of the essay is that which gains good marks for the aspirants. The next question is, how many papers are there in the UPSC mains examination? In the UPSC mains examination, there are total nine papers. Okay, along with this, you have English or the regional language, which are qualifying papers. So the paper one is the essay paper. That is, you need to write an essay on two topics in the essay paper of UPSC. Then you have four general studies papers. Okay, one essay, four GS papers. Okay. That is namely GS paper one, paper two, paper three, paper four. Okay, paper four is the paper called Ethics, Integrity and Aptitude. Paper three broadly deals with the economic development, science and technology, as well as disaster management, including internal security. Then in paper two, you have issues like governance, polity, international relations, social justice, and likewise. In paper one, you have Indian society, world history, okay, Indian history, art and culture, geography, and certain other phenomena. Okay, and then you have two optional papers. Okay, two optional papers. That is for one optional subject, you'll be having paper one and paper two. Okay, so in, in all, you have nine papers in the mains examination. The next most asked question by beginners is, how much time is required to prepare for UPSC examination? I can say that it all depends on the individual's interest, the individual's dedication, the individual's commitment to this examination and the commitment for him to achieve his goal of clearing civil services. To crack UPSC civil services exam, the candidate should start the preparation at least one year prior to the IAS preliminary examination. This is what most of the candidates who are successful do. So the so you need a minimum of 1 to 1 1.5 years of preparation time in order to comfortably crack the UPSC examination given that you do the right things at the right time with the right guidance. Okay. The next question is how to prepare for economics optional for the UPSC mains. Economics optional in the UPSC exam demands subject matter of expertise level. Okay. If you have already had economics background, then you can prepare for economics optional. The strategy to prepare for economics optional is to have good command over concepts and knowledge about economic theories and also proper structured answer writing is required for this optional. The next question is, how to prepare for political science and international relations optional for UPSC mains examination. The political science optional preparation strategy should be more focused on the paradigm shifts in Indian and world politics because this is what determines the pattern of the paper every year rather than the more intricate skeletal changes. This is to keep the aspirants and possible future civil service officers updated about the contemporary issues around the world and in their country. It can sometimes be overwhelming to prepare for such a vast syllabus without any predetermined frame of reference to follow. Okay. The next question is how to prepare for philosophy optional in UPSC. The philosophy optional has a lot of technical terms. Okay. Which need to have an in-depth understanding and the ability to relate to the concept. Okay, this requires multiple re revisions in order to be able to link to the chapters. Make mind maps on how one concept relates to the other and spend time forming an answer and try to understand the philosophy behind the philosophy and essence behind every theory. The next question is how to prepare for public administration optional for UPSC. Please remember that 
in this optional you have to be thorough with the thinkers part especially in paper 1 this foundation of paper 1s where where you have a good conceptual understanding about the thinkers and their application in the administration part of it will definitely help you get better marks in paper 1 of this optional as well as paper 2 okay try to make some good notes linking them up with the current affairs try to spend quality time in answer writing and revision before the examination so as to score good marks in this option the next question is how to prepare for sociology option of upsc understand the sociology syllabus completely then develop good command over the sociological thinkers in paper one then properly use these thinkers and their perspectives as well as try to quote their case studies Okay, and their statements in the UPSC means answers. While preparing, try to interlink the sociological dimension in the social and current issues that are happening across the globe and in India. That helps you to improve your sociological analytical skill to write good answers in the UPSC mains examination. So, the next question is how to prepare for anthropology optional for UPSC mains examination. Here, we would like to suggest that please try to read the book written by Professor Nadeem Hasnain Sir on anthropology and the tribes. Also, recently he has released a book stating the themes of Indian society. That is also very helpful for you to get better marks in the optional subject. Okay, so the fundamental pretext of getting good marks in anthropology is to develop a conceptual understanding, be thorough with the thinkers part and then while you write answers, try to include case studies, try to give diagrams, especially when it comes to physical anthropology. This will definitely help you get one or two marks better than the other uh, competitors. Okay, so this is how your creative re reorganization of facts, okay, creative reorganization of facts can help you score good marks in the optional subject. The next question is how to prepare for history optional. Okay, history optional has very vast syllabus. Okay, but do not get worried about that. All you need to do is to prepare all the major historical events from a broader perspective. It's all about developing a broader perspective and under the historical issues comprehensively. For this, the candidate needs to read standard textbooks authored by historians and try to make your own notes from every text that you have read so that you have a crisp revision notes with you which will be helpful for you in the main examination. The next question asked by most aspirants is how to prepare for geography optional. In geography optional preparation, candidates need to build in the mind that aspirants are not only studying about the countries and cities, they are going to do an in-depth preparation of the subject from every aspect. The candidate needs to update the notes regularly on contemporary events as well as analyze the news from the geographical point of view. Lastly, answer writing is of significant importance in geography as well as other optionals. Okay, and try to be thorough with the map pointing which will definitely help you get better marks. Okay, so these are about the general answers to the FAQs asked by many beginners who want to venture out into UPSC preparation. Thank you. Have a good day.